The 2023 Lamborghini Huracan Technica follows in the footsteps of the Huracans that came before it. The slightly wilder, less practical Estio wowed us last year at the inaugural Performance Vehicle of the Year competition and finished in second place, whereas both the Huracan Performante and the Huracan Evo won our now deceased sports car and supercar roundup event, Best Driver's Car. Rest assured the Technica was a no-brainer finalist at this year's showdown, though a few flaws kept it out of the top spot. Still, what a thing. The Technica takes most of what's exceptional about the STO, full power, rear drive, incredible tires, excellent steering and suspension tuning, and makes the car livable. The STO's advanced aerodynamics, like the front space eating air extractors, are gone. Instead, a medium-sized opening under the front hood swallows a weekend bag, and you can opt for more comfortable thrones. We've jokingly referred to the Technica as the STO Touring, a riff on Porsche's GT3 Touring. Although both the Technica and the actual Touring lose the boy racer wings, though the Technica does get its own subtler, smaller wing, the two Porsches are functionally and mechanically identical, whereas the STO's performance envelope is somewhat higher. On the backstretch headed down to the reverse bull corner, I saw 128 miles per hour in the Cayman, 129 in the Z06, 139 in the Huracan, and 145 in the McLaren. That's from executive editor Mac Morrison, making the point that on the track, the 631 horsepower Lambo clocked a full 10 miles per hour faster than the by the numbers mightier 670 horsepower Z06 Z07. It wasn't far off the McLaren and its two turbochargers, either. It's difficult to explain just how ballistic this Lamborghini is, so here's hoping you get to experience the thrust one day. The grip is insane, technical director Frank Marcus said though it's definitely a click behind the STO's aero-assisted amazingness. The limits are so high that mere hack journalists like me can't really probe them safely. Morrison and others disagree. Unless you don't think a racetrack is safe. So why isn't the Uricon Technica our winner? It's the little things, critique by 1000 cuts. Features editor Scott Evans thought the ride was too stiff in Corsa mode. Mexico editor Miguel Cortina had a difficult time seeing out of it, and he's tall. Many judges hate the transmission's sluggish behavior in strata mode and Corsa mode, the one you want on the track, makes it mandatory you always shift manually via the paddles. I don't need the extra driving engagement of shifting myself on a racetrack when I'm concentrating on lapping quickly, Morrison said. Meanwhile, the brakes were way too grabby on the street. Oh, and Marcus hated the steering wheel mounted turn signals and Morrison despised the column mounted shift paddles and wanted them relocated to the wheel itself.